I thought I'd take some of the last of the uh, tomatoes from the season and make a charred tomato relish to go on our yeasted cornbread with Mount Townsend Sears cow's milk cheese. We have 13 varieties of tomatoes here that ripen at all different points of the summer. So we have tomatoes from the, almost the beginning of July all the way through. We pick the green tomatoes for fried green tomatoes at the end of October. All right, so we're gonna cut up our tomatoes and we're going to put it on our hot kamal. A kamal is the Spanish word for griddle. My favorite one is this one that I have here on the stove here. I don't think that's more than $25, if that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. And we want this hot and fast. This is a fresh tomato sauce, right? And then our onions, the same. I call this a charred tomato relish. And the other thing I really like to mix up in there, I'll take a few thin slices of lemon and I'll char those also. It's also a place where you don't want to skimp on the olive oil. It doesn't hurt to have a little bit more. Now we've finished charring everything. I'm going to put it right out onto my cutting board and I'm just really just going to give it a rough chop. Lemons, onions. Can you think of a more delicious farm meal than just a fresh tomato relish. Okay, now's a good time to put in our fresh herbs. So I've got any soft herb will do. This is fresh tarragon. I'm just gonna pull the stem off of that. Fresh basil. I think that's about as much as we wanna do here. Now, we have so many good craftsmen, artisan uh, food people in Seattle. So you could do what I did. I got my bread from my own bakery oddly enough. Uh, it's a fresh yeasted cornbread, but I love this product from Macrina. This is a olive, a Greek olive crostini. Also, we have beautiful cheesemakers in town. Uh, this one is Mount Townsend Creamery from Port Townsend area, and I love it. So I'm going to take a little bit, a little dab of that cheese. I'm going to put it on my yeasted cornbread that I griddled, just like that. And then I'm going to go in here and put some of my beautiful fresh tomato herby relish on top and then if you want to gild the lily we have beautiful marigold blossoms right now just pop those right on top but that my friends is a late summer fall treasure right in your own backyard <laughs>